everyone from the Pearl River Public Library. As you may know, my name is Melissa and I'm a new librarian here. I am so happy that I get to interact with you even while we're all at home spending time with our pets and our families and having some time off from school. Now today, I am wearing my favorite sweater. This is my favorite because it has a polar bear on it. And it's very warm, it's very fuzzy, and it's very comfortable. Do you have a favorite sweater? I know I sure do. Speaking of polar bears, I thought we can read a book together today called Adrift. Let's see, what do you think this book's gonna be about? Carl and Hazel are not friends. Carl thinks Hazel is mean. She never wants to play with the other polar bears. Huh. She doesn't talk very much. She likes to sit and daydream in a quiet spot by the water. Hmm. If somebody likes to spend time by themselves, do you think that means that they're mean? Could it be that maybe they like to spend time on their own? Maybe they like to read a book all by themselves. Hazel isn't mean, she is just shy. Hmm, that's what I was thinking. Maybe she's not mean at all. Do you ever like to spend time by yourself? Maybe that's what Hazel likes to do. Hazel thinks Carl is too loud. One night, there is a big crack. <laughs> what could have made that sound? When they wake up, both Carl and Hazel are alone. In one direction, their home is getting farther and farther away. In the other direction is an endless sea. Oh no, looks like Carl and Hazel are now on the same iceberg together, far away from everyone. I wonder if this means maybe they'll become friends. What do you think will happen? As they float south, the ice flow melts and melts. <sighs> See the iceberg? It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Now we can see that Hazel and Carl are actually getting closer together. Hmm, they weren't so close to each other before. So it gets smaller and smaller until it's me, Carl from land. I remember you. Of all the polar bears, Carl is stuck with the one who doesn't like to talk. Of all the polar bears, Hazel is stuck with the one who talks too much. So it sounds like Carl and Hazel are very different from each other. One of them is very quiet, and one of them is very loud. There is only one thing left to do. This is my side. You can't come past this wall. Uh-oh, I guess Carl and Hazel aren't friends yet. Even though they're very close together, they don't seem to want to spend time together. Look at them building this wall here out of ice so they can't get too close to each other. Hmm, will they ever become friends? All by myself. Carl seems pretty happy to be all by himself. Building a snowman, swimming with the fish, while Hazel over here, pretty happy reading a book. Oh, what's this? Looks like Hazel's a little bit curious about what Carl's doing. Building a snowman, playing tic-tac-toe by himself. You ever play tic-tac-toe by yourself? I think that game takes two people. Ah, then one morning. Wow, says Hazel. Hi, birds. I'm Carl, says Carl. Hmm, 
Hmm, looks like they both took an interest in something that they both noticed. Could they have something in common? Looks like they're both interested in the birds flying above them. You know what? After they saw the birds, after that they got closer. And closer. Building a snowman together instead of spending time separately. They play games. I spy with my eye something blue. They take turns getting dinner. Looks like Hazel is helping Carl catch dinner by holding his feet while he fishes for some fish. And then they start singing together. Row, row, row your boat. They sing songs. And Carl, guess what? Carl always sings the loudest. Can you sing that loud? Row, row, row your boat. That's how Carl would sing. How do you think Hazel would sing? A little bit softer. Row, row, row your boat. And sometimes they just sit quietly and look out at the water. And that's when Carl asks Hazel, what are you thinking about? After a while, Carl doesn't smell too much. He doesn't smell too much like old fish. Or maybe Hazel has just gotten used to the smell. Whew. And Carl says, oh, those stars look like two bears. And what do you know? Hazel agrees. I see them too. Sometimes Hazel worries that the ice will all melt before they see land, but she doesn't tell Carl. She doesn't want him to worry. She doesn't want him to be worried. And so in this picture, I think Hazel looks a little bit worried, but she doesn't want to tell Carl what she's worried about because she doesn't want him to worry also. And then one morning, there is a tiny sliver of land on the horizon. Looks like they can see a little bit of land from where they're stranded on this little piece of ice. And you know what? It gets bigger. Look at that. See how when the ice is so far away on land that it looks tiny? And then once they get closer to it, look at how much bigger it looks in the picture. And then it gets even bigger. We're saved! <gasps> what do you know? Who do they see on the land? Looks like a reindeer, a penguin, some other animals, maybe their friends, a whale. They imagine what they will do when they get to this new place. Look at this. Hazel and Carl are holding hands. They didn't do that before. I will eat and eat, says Carl. Do you think there are fish in this new place? I will run and explore and sit by myself, says Hazel. The land looks so big, bigger even than the ocean. Suddenly they miss their little ice float. And look at this. Hazel asked Carl. Carl asked Hazel. Now look how far away they are from each other. Right? Why do you think they're starting to miss their island when they have all this space? Maybe it's because they like spending time together because they became friends. And now that they're on a much bigger piece of land, they're not so close to each other anymore. You know what, says Hazel, you're my best, oh, you know what, this is Carl. Carl says, you're my best friend, Hazel, even when you're quiet. And Hazel says, you're my best friend too, Carl, even if you talk a lot, right? 
two polar bears are so different from each other. And you know what? They can still be really close friends. And here's Carl and Hazel holding hands, spending time near each other again, even though they have so much land and they're not stuck together on a little island made of ice. And you know what? They spent more time together and they lived happily ever after. Do you have a friend or a brother or a sister or a family member that's pretty different than you are? Do they like different things? Do they like to be louder? Do they like to be more quiet? Do they like different food than you do? Think about it. We may know people that like different things than we do, but we might still like each other. For example, I really like polar bears. Do you like polar bears? Maybe you like kitty cats. I like polar bears, but we can still be friends. I've had such a wonderful time reading this story to you. I look forward to reading more stories with you and I can't wait until we come back together again so that we can see each other in person. Thank you so much for reading this story with me. Have a great, wonderful day.